Maritime Made on East Link TV is presented in partnership with Nova Scotia Business Inc., Nova Scotia's business development agency. Steadybrook Custom Leather and Saddlery in Mount Uniac, Nova Scotia is home to leather craftsman James Brown. James first started his leather business in his parents' basement when he was 14 years old. A lot has changed since then, and he is now a master leather craftsman. He specializes in saddles and makes fine leather products of every kind. Different types of leather are used for different products. Most of the leather used at Steady Brook Saddlery is vegetable tanned cowhide, although they sometimes use ostrich or lizard. Today, this leather craftsman is making an ear stall bridle, and later, a purse. An ear stall bridle goes over the ear of the horse and holds the bit in the horse's mouth. The craftsman begins by cutting 5 8 inch strips of quarter inch thick leather with a sharp tool called a pistol grip leather stripper. These strips of leather will become the crown straps. They'll need to be cut to the exact length later. Next, the craftsman prepares to cut the cheek pieces of the bridle on a clicker hydraulic press. A cutting die is used to ensure the same shape is cut every time. He places the cutting die on the leather and operates the press. The press applies pressure to push the cutting die through the leather. The cut piece is removed from the die and reveals the perfect shape. Now the crown pieces will be hand cut to the correct length for the bridle. Using a previously measured crown piece, he marks the piece for cutting. The crown piece is then cut to the correct length using a mallet and a cutter tool called an English point over a lead block. Each bridle requires one crown piece. The craftsman then marks the crown pieces to indicate where he will put the hand tooling design. The pieces need to be damp before they can be hand tooled. The hand tooling step is a time consuming one. The tools are traditional carving tools for leather work. This tray of tools are handmade. The hand tooling design on the cheek pieces is being done in a traditional basket weave design. The swivel knife makes the first cuts. Then the basket weave tool is hammered into the leather. The edging of the design is then done with a border tool. The crown piece is hand tooled in the matching design. Next, an edging tool is used to smooth out the edges. An adjustable tool is set to the correct width and markings are made for the buckle holes. Next, he punches the holes in the crown piece with a foot-operated punch. A skiver is then used to shave off a bit of the leather. This helps it fit in the buckle more easily. The ends of the cheek piece are dampened and bent, and the buckles and the keeper are installed. This buckle is made entirely of hand-tooled silver. The bit end is also installed. This is where the horse's bit will be attached. The rivets are then installed to secure the buckle. The tip is added to the crown piece. A tiny silver nail holds it in place. Then the ear piece is added. Most of the Steady Brook Saddlery bridles are used as show bridles for performance horses. They are made here and shipped all over North America. Steady Brook Saddlery also makes many styles of handbags. Today, a small purse is being made. The purse starts with pre-finished cowhide in a saddle tan color. The craftsman begins by cutting strips for what will become the shoulder straps. Then using a cutting die, he cuts out the shape of the purse on the clicker hydraulic press. 
Then the gussets are cut, this time using a dark brown leather. The gussets are the pieces that join the front and back of the purse. Sharp tools are important in this trade. Using a square, the pieces are trimmed down. The edges are then rounded using a special edging tool. Slots are made to make room for the shoulder straps later. The next step is applying a latex glue to the gussets and then to the front and back pieces of the purse. It's time to cut the shoulder straps while the glue dries. After trimming the shoulder straps, slots are made where the buckle will be added later. The leather keepers are measured and marked, then cut with scissors. Holes are made in the leather, a staple is added, and the keepers are ready. The edges of the shoulder strap are rounded. After the edging, the buckles are added. Rivets are installed to hold it all in place. Markings are made for the holes. Then they're punched out using the foot-operated hole punch. A stitching groover is then used on the main body of the purse. The groover creates a track where the stitching will lie. Bag snaps are then installed. Now it's time to attach the gussets to the front and back of the purse. It's attached now with the glue, but will be stitched later. Duck-billed pliers help the glue stick at this stage. It's trimmed for a perfect fit. Now it's time for stitching. The thread is braided polyester thread imported from England. This piece is being stitched with cream-colored thread. First one side, then the other. The threads are nipped with thread nippers at the workbench, and now it's time to add the straps. The rivets are installed to hold the straps in place, one on each side. Then the buckle is fastened, and the strap is complete. New leather is stiff at first, but will soften with time and use. Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc. Because great things are happening.